Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. My name is Dewa Kim. I just graduated from Kaist School of Computing with a master's degree. In this video, I'm excited to talk about our paper, At a Touch. This work was done at Kaist HCI Lab in collaboration with Gunu Park and my advisor, Kyok Lee. Today's VR systems use handheld controllers as an essential part. They support accurate hand position tracking, immersive interaction through haptic feedback, and provide auxiliary inputs. In addition to these great advantages, modern sensing techniques enable the controllers to track users' finger movement to support natural interaction using hands. Hand gestures such as pin gestures are useful in VR environments. Users manipulate objects dexterously, click a button, control a slide bar, and enter text comfortably. However, these techniques often fail to precisely determine whether two fingertips touch each other. As a result, users tend to perform pin gestures with exaggerated trajectories to compensate. In response, we introduce at a touch that enable a precise fingertip touch segmentation by leveraging the change in antenna return loss when fingers form a loop. The antenna radiates RF signals to the human fingers and their impedance is electromagnetically coupled while user is holding the controller. As pinching fingers are closed or opened, the capacitor component in the hand changes. The change in coupled impedance affects the amount of reflected RF signals and subsequently changes the return loss of the antenna. To verify error touch sensing principle, we did a pilot experiment. The return loss change depending on pinching state would be significant when fingers are aligned to the direction of electro field oscillation. Therefore, we measured the return loss changes in four different conditions. The changes were small when fingers aligned to the antenna's transversal direction and significant for its longitudinal direction. This result supports our hypothesis. We implemented a prototype controller with the two design goals. The return loss value should be significantly revised when fingers are closed. The return loss should always increase or decrease when fingers are closed. Taking into account the previous result, we could select the longitudinal direction for significant magnitude. We chose the latter space one considering the controller's form factor. To design an antenna satisfying our design goals, we conducted electromagnetic simulations by varying the antenna length and finger positions. For the antenna length 6 cm, we observed both consistent trend and significant magnitude of signal changes, so chose this value for our prototype. According to the experiment and computer simulation research, we placed the antenna in the 3D printed controller. We collected 10 data points in the frequency range, where the change in return loss is the most dynamic. We evaluated how precisely at a touch can detect the touch state of pinching fingers. We collected only touch data for user calibration and used a one-class classification algorithm to detect touch states. The evaluation was done for index and middle fingers. At a touch could detect touch and non-touch states of 5 mm interval changes with 96% accuracy. Also, we evaluated at a touch with VR interaction scenarios to move virtual blocks using a pin gesture. To check robustness of at a touch, we asked the participant to move blocks with three different hand postures. At a touch robustly operated in a VR interaction scenario with a low object drop rate and false pinch rate. In another VR interaction scenario, we evaluated how well at a touch supports a light pinching interaction. After dropping virtual blocks quickly, then the participant scored the two statements on at a touch's effortlessness. The participants could drop and pick up the virtual block without exaggerated actions. Lastly, I would like to thanks to my super awesome co-authors, and if you have any comments and questions on our project, please contact the authors. Thank you for listening.